Hey bad publicity fans, this is Mark from My Size Hedgefund, and uh, we're up against Builder of Nations today in the competitive lobby on Jinteki with our Min Max or Gramble Scrub as it seems to be referred to at the moment. Uh, it's a pretty good opening hand, I think. If we can get a siphon going early, we'll be pretty set. So we have our Fall Guy and Wireless Net Pavilion off the bat. Which is pretty great if you can get the DLR and things like that down early, you're away in a hack. Builder of Nations also has the oh has the smaller deck size, although we have Activist, so it's not too bad. So easier to mill them out. And that is pretty much what we're trying to do. So we got to counter a current with a current, which is pretty nice. Curious to see what kind of advanceable ice they are running. Okay. They're going straight for it. So, are they going with the rush play? You're likely to see ice walls. Um, ice walls is probably the most prevalent one that is going to come out. So if we can get a corroder. Uh, let's let's try and take this. And hopefully we don't die immediately. Paparazzi would have been a nice one to have instead of the iPad worse in this situation. Wow, they have been pretty flooded. Did they mulligan? Or are they just really go home with the rush play? Uh, they did indeed take a mulligan. Okay, and it seems to have worked out quite poorly for them. Right, let's see what we can do. Let's see what we can draw into. Lose an inject. Get the DLR though. Um, let's not take a look at the last card in HQ in case, in case of snare. Sea source. Lovely. So, we know what we're dealing with anyway. So we want to get tagged, but we'd prefer to get tagged on our terms. Eater comes down. And the account siphon. Okay, so we're getting there. Discover probably not that useful. So next turn I think is going to be Eater Siphon. We have seen Sea Source. But I've had worse makes things kind of okay. And if we can get their bank down, Paparazzi is going to be a pretty hero card for us. Another DLR. I think we just take our time a bit more. One more turn of uh, setup, get ourselves to six. And then we can throw in a siphon, put down a second DLR, and remove the tags for the moment. Would like, oh, wow. 
Okay, they are really getting. So we could siphon, deja vu siphon, does leave us tagged. They're going to get this out anyway, because that is what Oaktown does. So we can bring it down to three. We could put the paparazzi out so that they can't kill us. That may be the thing to do. But it also means that we're on the clock. You know what? I think we have to go for it. That is what this deck is all about. We could, of course, run in here, which is likely why they are not raising anything. So run server one and force them to keep us out. Quandary. Okay. But now even if they scorch us, we have the Eye of Worse, so we can survive. And now we can start the mill. So let's uh, go for three and put down paparazzi, I think. So now they have to get through a fair few things. They are rushing. So money is no longer an issue. And the race is well and truly on. So let's... Uh, same old siphon. See what kind of thing we're dealing with. Haven't seen the Invincible Ice yet, which is what, you know, this is all supposed to be about. There's a changeling though. So I mean, they can advance that the once just to ping us for the damage. But unfortunately, changing its type is not going to actually hurt us in any way at all. Um, foreign archives. Let's uh, run and take a look at what we're dealing with. Try and beat any Jacksons to the board. Cleaners, okay. That is good to know. And we've also gotten rid of Scorch and our hard hitting news. Exchange of information. Nicely done. So, tag punishment is the way to go here. Uh, yeah, wasn't expecting that, I have to say. Sea source into Scorch is pretty much what you want, but exchange of information was a not pleasant surprise for me, I have to say. But nicely done on, on their part. We got our bits and pieces going. We were in a fairly good position, although six agendas so fast was a bit of a surprise. But hopefully you enjoyed. I'll put up a screenshot of the deck and you can try it out for yourselves. And uh, thank you for watching. So this is the current deck list of the week, Gramble Scrub. It's gone by other names. Min Max, of course, was the infamous version from last year's Worlds. And in the right hands it can be quite phenomenal. As you can see, first and second at the North American Championships. Uh, via Simon Moon and Dan D'Arginio. 
but you do need to know how to pilot it and you kind of need to hope that other people have either forgotten how to play against it or are a little unfamiliar with it. Uh, this deck did really really well at Gen Con but the author says that people weren't able to make wholesale changes to their deck and it is one that you have to kind of work around a little bit either with like Chrisium Grids or targeted marketing as we've seen in a few games and definitely the ability to be able to double stack ice on HQ. If you do see Max and you do suspect that this is the way it's going, uh, double stacking on HQ is the way to go. It is a bit of a momentum hit, but at least you can kind of stem the tide a little bit for a while. Uh, this deck is all about milling. Uh, so you've got your daily reversal, and once you get tagged, you can just start taking cards off the top. To keep this on the board, because obviously it's a resource and it could be easily trashed, you have things like Fall Guy to prevent it from being trashed, and Wireless Net Pavilion, which makes things cost two extra. And when you have to work through Wireless Net plus Fall Guys, it's quite an unpleasant experience for the Corp. And this, of course, this whole setup comes about after trying to siphon them into the ground. Siphon, and you've Deja Vu, and you've same old thing, to just try and keep their bank balance as low as possible, and then you can just keep milling things away into archives where you can hopefully pick them up or just cause them to run out of deck. Uh, it's definitely worth trying out to learn how to play both as and against it. Um, it's probably not going anywhere anytime soon. It did make a showing at Worlds of course last year and then seemed to disappear for a while but it's very much come back into flavour and apparently it has a great controlling of the message matchup and with that everywhere at the moment um, this is definitely one that people will be picking up. It does of course have a harder time against sync which is also quite prevalent because sync has the flip ability where it can trash things for two less and uh, Palana as well because Palana tends to make just a load a load of money uh, but definitely try it out and let me know in the comment section below how you got on or come on over to iSize Hedge Fund for more Gentechi.net action and to let me know as well keep me posted on your progress